Hey guys, it's Angel Bee here and welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. In today's video, we are going to be looking at some kind of cute, new and updated Minecraft mods for 1.17.1. Most of my videos are on 1.16.5 because that seems to be the best modded version to play on right now. But if you want, but if you want to play it on 1.17.1, I have found some mods that aren't too, too, too much that kind of fit in with vanilla and some that kind of just make sense to give the game a little bit more excitement. So before we get into this video, please be sure to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and let's get right into it. This first Minecraft mod I'd like to show you is called Koi Fish and it adds a whole new bunch of little fishies to the game. I'm not sure why they're all huddling into the corner. It adds little Koi Fish. You can capture them in a, you can capture them in a bucket. They also drop the fish item, Koi. Before we get any further into this video, I want to thank today's sponsor of this video. It'd be really cool if you could check it out. It is a really cool game, and that is Soberworld.io. Soberworld.io, a place where you can create your own game without needing to learn any code. Create any type of genre of game you would like. It uses a whole bunch of assets and objects. It uses gameplay logic to create different events and different events for the objects and what they do. Play games with your friends on any platform or you can join games that other players have made. There is Soberworld World Community where it'll tell you everything about the game, how to do everything you possibly can and how to create your games. So be sure to join the pre-alpha now by clicking the link in the video description. And now let's get right back into the video. So up next we have this rocks. This is a mod that makes the game feel a bit more natural. It adds these little starfish and clams. It adds little pebbles and stones around the world. Here is a bunch of them I have put together. There is just a whole bunch of stone versions and even twigs. Here you can see them naturally spawn throughout the world. Next up we have the Minecraft mod, Traveler's Backpack. This adds a whole new bunch of backpacks which are ported from the original 1.17.10 and the 1.12 version. It adds a little Minecraft character on each backpack and there is around 45 inventory sorts with fluid tanks. So you can add fluids to these backpacks. It has a crafting grid. It is gonna be updated in the future, but so far it adds about 20 different backpacks with this being some of them. So up next, we've got the Minecraft mod, Give Me Hats. And this adds a bunch of hats to the game, which have different effects, such as this one here, which is Slowfall. It adds a deer stalker hat, stalk those deer. It looks like a hunting hat. We have this hat, which makes it so you can run quite fast. It adds cat ears, which actually scares creepers away. It adds wolf ears. When you hit a sheep, it shares the sheep as well as a crown, which is just aesthetic. This is all the hats here. There is a witch's brim, fox ears, bunny ears, floaty hat. So many different hats, including a Santa hat. This next Minecraft mod is for Forge and is called Glumbus. This lets you capture cats in a sock. It doesn't want to capture cats in a sock. We take the sock, right click on the cat, and we'll get a Glumbus. And now we can place it back down if we wish, but it sounds better if we just keep it in the sock. It's less noisy. You can also craft socks. You can wire them, which will give you a little bit of protection. And if you go into water with the socks on, when in the water, it will turn to soggy socks, but they will dry over time, but they will provide a little bit more protection than regular socks. Having Glumbers in your hot bar scares away creepers. Up next, we have the Minecraft mod Propeller Hats, and it adds multiple tiers of propeller hats, which you are used to fly around. However, it does use Forge Energy, so you will need another mod to use them. I am using Solar Power and Wireless Chargers. Basically, once you've powered these hats, you can wear them and you can fly, and it will look like a little propeller. You gotta keep hold of the space bar, otherwise you will fall to the ground. They're pretty cute. They're kind of like a jetpack, but a more, you know, cuter version. <laughs> Next up, we have this fun Minecraft mod called Keyboards. It's a convenient way to keep cats away from your chests and beds. It's a certified level six cat attractant. Your little fluffball will start sitting on it. 
If the keyboard is connected to your chat box and they manage to press enter, they might send a message. Next up, we've got the Minecraft mod, Restored Earth. And this adds a whole new bunch of creatures which are exclusive to Minecraft Earth, which was lost when the game was discontinued. It adds a villa witch. It adds this jolly llama. It's rideable just like any other llama. But it's a little Christmas llama. It's so cute. It adds the rainbow sheep. This fancy chicken, which drops fancy feathers. A jumbo rabbit. A woolly cow, which will give you brown wool. Muddy pigs, which are really cute. And moo blooms, which are found in flower forests. And you can get buttercups from them. You can share the sheep and get rainbow wool. And you can turn that into a bed or carpet. Up next, we've got the Minecraft mod, Petable Bees, and this lets you pet bees. By right-clicking on the bee, it will have hearts, and if the bee is angry, this will make it so it's not angry anymore. This next Minecraft mod we have to talk about is called Alex's Mobs. This is a very popular Minecraft mod that gets updated very regularly with new creatures. Be sure to check it out. Some of them are tameable. They all have different effects. They have lots of different drops, and there's so many different ones, like this super cute little bird. Then you've got this little a snow leopard, which is cute, so cute. It's like sleeping. But then you've got creatures like this and a, and a gorilla over there and a spooky thing in the distance and a little snake. It adds this book, which adds all the different creatures in the game. There is loads of bad ones but they have really awesome drops and just makes the game a bit more exciting, especially for 1.17.1, where if you want a bunch of creatures, this mod is definitely for you. So here we have a kangaroo and it tells you how they are tameable and what they do. And they tell you how dangerous and things the creatures are. And here is the bunch of items that it adds. It adds so many different things, so many different drops. It even adds new potions and new enchanting books. So definitely go and check this mod out. Next we've got this Minecraft mod called Animal Tamer and this allows you to tame all the creatures in Minecraft. Instead of dragging them somewhere, you can actually make them follow you or place on your head for easier transport. Here we have a pig. It says tameable with wheat. We give it wheat. The pig is now tamed. Shift right click will make it wandering. Shift right click will make it follow you like this. So no more losing animals on the way to have a farm. They will automatically just follow you. We have a rabbit, we'll give it wheat to tame it. Shift right click and now it is on our head. A little glitchy but it's still on our head. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Be sure to click the link in the description to check out Sober World and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye!